Okay, this is where things get interesting. We're going to launch a cloud deployment of the first person shooter. There's some more descriptions about spatial OS and good learning materials at the top of this document. Uh, feel free to read those through at your leisure, but I'm going to jump to the first action that you guys have to take. You need to go to console.improbable.io and grab your project name. It should look something like Beta Yankee Hawaii and then a number. Mine's slightly different. It says develop QA. So now that you've grabbed that, you want to navigate to your spatial OS JSON file and paste your project name in the name field. The spatial OS JSON is located at Unreal GDK example project slash game slash spatial. Slash spatial is where we keep pretty much everything associated with the spatial OS component of the GDK as opposed to the Unreal components of the GDK. So here's the spatial OS JSON file. You can open it up in your editor of choice. I'm going to open it up in Visual Studio Code. And in the name field where it says your project name here, just replace that with develop QA. And you might need to tidy up any spacing from where you copied it. So mine says develop QA, your project name will be different. You can save and close that. Next up, we're going to build our workers. You can do this from the command line, which is useful later on in your project if you want to customize and specify exactly what you're building. However, you can also use buildproject.bat, which sits in the root of the Unreal GDK example project, and that builds the Windows client, which will be downloaded by players and run on their local machines as well as the Linux server worker, which will run in the cloud. So here's buildproject.bat, you just double click it. When your workers have built, you'll see build succeeded. You can press any key to continue. Next up, we need to upload the workers that we've just built. To do this, we open a terminal and cd to the spatial directory. As you'll remember, the spatial directory is the place that we keep all of the spatial aspects of the GDK as opposed to the unreal aspects of the GDK. It's also the place that you cd into whenever you want to run a spatial command relating to your project. So now that we've done that, we're going to so we're going to run spatial cloud upload and then include an assembly name. You can make up your assembly name, it just needs to be unique. So I'm gonna spatial cloud upload Ollie's assembly. While that's uploading, let's run through what we need to do next to launch the cloud deployment. Instead of using the spatial cloud upload command, we use spatial cloud launch. You'll see the command here. You need to use the same assembly name and your deployment name can also be made up. There's a breakdown here of exactly what this configuration does. Again, feel free to read it in your own time. I actually find it easier when editing this command to open up Visual Studio Code or another text editor, paste it in and assemble my command. So my assembly name was Ollie's assembly. And to keep it consistent, let's call it Ollie's deployment. Now I can copy that and run it in the same directory. So 
So it says deployment is being launched. It's provided me a URL to my deployment. If you grab that and stick it in Chrome, you can actually look at the deployment as it spins up. You can check the status currently provisioning. Okay, now that our deployment is running, we can launch the game. So to do that, you jump to your console to the deployment and you hit launch. It's going to say, it's going to ask you to download the launcher if you haven't already. You have got the launcher, it installed as part of Spatial OS. So you can just click step two, launch a client. And open with the Spatial OS launcher. What's happening here is we are downloading the Windows client worker that we uploaded to the deployment earlier. We're effectively doing what someone who was joining our playtest would do. Type in our name, choose a color, and jump in. This is running in the cloud, but it's not a ton of fun unless you invite your friends. You can do this by jumping back to the console and clicking share. Click get share URL and then copy share token URL by hitting the button. So we've successfully set up and launched the first person shooter example project. Next up, we could run the porting guide. Uh, if you have your own Unreal project that you want to port to Spatial OS, you can use the starter template for a more bare bones project, which is great for building your own game. Uh, or you can build on top of this project if this is the kind of game you're looking to build. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions or just want to chat about Spatial OS, you can reach us on our Discord and forums. Those are linked in the docs and in the description of this video.